stand so close that your sleeve touches mine. I feel your current run through me. Why do you speak so low? I must lean close just to hear. Knowing your breath in my ear will undo me. And once in a while when your hand brushes mine, is it by accident or design? I wait for words that go unsaid, and I wonder, is it all in my head? Why can't I spend an hour without thinking of you, wondering when I'll see you again, asking myself whether you feel as I do, deciding you don't, oh, but then. Once in a while you drop me a line How's everything going? I'm fine Still I wait for words that go unsaid And I wonder, is it all in my head? A kiss on the cheek, hug me hello Ever so status quo A kiss on the cheek, hug me goodbye and I watch you go with a sigh. Why do you stand so close that your sleeve touches mine? I feel your current run through me. Why do you speak so low? I must lean close just to hear. Knowing your voice in my ear will undo me. And once in a while when your hand touches mine, is it by accident or design? I wait for words that go unsaid, and I wonder, is it all in my head? I wait for words that may never be said, and I wonder, yes, I wonder, is it all in my head? Some say there's a season, a time for every purpose. Some say there's a reason for all the things that hurt us. I don't know the master plan, just focus on the small. I plant potatoes in April garlic in the fall Grown-up life's a busy mix startle stress and hurry Sometimes I can't help myself Give in to the worry Other days I take it slow and listen when the birds call. I plant potatoes in April, garlic in the fall. Cause there's a time for doing taxes, a time for washing dishes, time for smelling roses. Time for catching fishes A time to read, a time to write A time to search for answers Time to leave your seat and join the dancers Some hope politicians Will be the ones to save us Others 
say the answer is to bow our heads to Jesus. Don't got much faith in praying, less in building walls. I plant potatoes in April, garlic in the fall. Cause there's a time for doing taxes, a time for washing dishes, time for smelling roses, a time for catching fishes, time to read, a time to write, a time to search for answers, a time to leave you a seat and join the dancers. There's a meditation in working for the future. Tender shoots, seeds, and hope, all things we can nurture. Each act of compassion shows we're in it for the long haul. Potatoes in April. Garlic in the fall I plant potatoes in April garlic in the fall Good to be here. This is the first time Long, long time ago, first time I stand up here with my legs shaking and all that. I moved to Rockport and still hide and seek on and up. I put here an artist, but I no longer believe artists just flashing color on canvas, papers, and wall. But I believe art in art means learning self. For that sense, that I will share one thing. Um, it's called Mindscape. Is it better? Yeah. 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 I will just sing, not because I learned how to sing or something, but for me, anytime I take class, I have to walk two years to wash it off. <laughs> so I am courteous, but I'm also, right now I'm trying to just wash off what I learned. But this is just something came to me. So <clears throat> it goes this way. Sun rise, sunset, starlight sailing with the moon. Underneath the pit window spark, so blue, bright and dim light. Sun grow weak, sun grow roses, sun grow left or tear some grow love or hate life dances falling twirling ups and downs blessing of heavenly light with cosmic wind I believe cosmic wind is not far but it's constantly flow into our heart. And I thank you, Cheryl, for constantly encouraging me to stand up and speak my own truth. Thank you. And th so this poem is called Journey Within. And, um, and it's basically about a labyrinth walk. Step by step, turn by turn, cast all cares aside as you walk the path of wonder. Meet the beauty surrounding you like an old friend. Step by step, turn by turn. Look closely and listen carefully to the life moving about you as you walk along. Hear this place sing to you its welcome song. Step by step, turn by turn. Meet yourself with a new perspective. A you that seems like a shadow in the glare of modern demands and distractions. 
This is the real you. Step by step, turn by turn, smile at yourself. Your thoughts, both familiar and new, begin to dance gracefully. You feel fresh energy swirling playfully around you. As you keep walking with perfect trust, the spiral path stretching before you. Step by step, turn by turn, you reach the spacious center. The music of the moment lightens your heart. You meet the spirit of wisdom. With her there is peace, maybe joy. Step by step, turn by turn, you walk around the center. Then choose a place to be still a moment. You linger, soaking up the chance meeting with the vibrant, colorful, sparkling world you've forgotten existed. Step by step, turn by turn, you feel younger as you step out of the center. You step back onto the path, which will lead you on a journey to the world you left behind a world waiting for you to manifest your unique wisdom and magic. Thank you. Um, I was sitting there, and every time she was getting, Cheryl's getting ready to introduce the next person, I'm thinking, not me, not me. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> but here I am, and um, you all are just so wonderful, you know, the, the safe and nurturing space that you create for, and that's a creative process in itself, for, for art to be brought here and shared an experience. And I really appreciate um, this community, all of you here. And thank you for being here and being willing to listen. Um, okay, yes, okay. Did anybody besides me feel like spring just was not gonna come? It was just, Every year, it feels like, oh, when is it going to happen? It's so long. So this was, a, this was written um, in a spring 14 years ago. That's quite a while, um, waiting for spring and thinking about spring and all the things it means. The choice of spring. This winter of heavy snows gives way with reluctance to equinox sun. We are all ready for spring, all waiting for green and warmth. The ancient story plays out again, sun strengthening while we talk about spring and welcome the growing light. Some of us are still gripped in private winters, frozen in place, called achingly by our own spirits to rebirth or held in gray whisperings by pain or loss or longing. We must strengthen our call to life with every breath, she is always there, watching our first move, each move towards spring. We can open our eyes, begin to move, seek the songs of spring for ourselves, for others, or fall back and remain in winter. It is hard work claiming the right to spring. You may say, Sometimes there is no spring, no possibility of spring. I will say true. Sometimes the spring before us is not the one we would choose. Our task is in seeing what is true at each turn, turning it to the good of heart and soul. Spring does call in each new moment, listening and moving and making the most of spring before us, within us, these are by choice. The heart does want spring and calls the sun. The ancient story is still our own. And it, uh, today was a particularly wonderful program. They all are, but uh, this one stood out. So a fitting way to end the season. Um, for those of you who are interested in process, uh, people frequently talk about how, you know, how long do you work on a poem? When is a poem finished? Um, 
the uh, this poem. My wife, four months pregnant, and I take a walk. Um, the uh, she was pregnant with our first child, uh, who is fifty-two years old now. So, how long you work on a poem? Uh, it can go on for a while. And when is it finished? Uh, never. Uh, this one also is uh, I brought in because it has a uh, some uh, theological uh, undertones, and uh, it uh, seems an appropriate season for that. My wife, four months pregnant, and I take a walk. On our April, uh, I'm sorry. On our October walk, we stop to watch an old garter snake weave in and out of a stone wall, flowing restlessly, though through a lost world, nudging aside fallen leaves, appearing, disappearing, a snake, then only a quiver in the leaves. Though by some people's calculation, a lower member of our congregation, she knows the season and seeks her winter home. Now she stops to rest on a sunlit rock. She lifts her head to flick a fork-tongued lick, no doubt to you, a tribute, I think, to what you hold in common, the seed of future generations. She knows you're pregnant. She can taste it on the air and recognizes you to hold the future in gestation. You talk of Eden as we're prone to do. That fairy tale runs deep, but don't insult her with biblical accusations. She had no role in what was lost, if anything was lost, beyond her reputation. She was drafted for that holy war like the first unfortunate pair. Her plan is ours to survive winter, to bring new life in spring. See how she flattens on the stone? She's a sun worshiper like you. She wants to carry the last of summer's heat to her winter den. Summer is the only paradise she knows. She knows, too, it will soon be lost. Look, now she's found her home by some remembered scent. The hole is there beside the stone, a final glance at us, and she pours into it, leaving us here alone. Her leaving gives me pause, as if by leaving she meant to tell us to end this roam, not to tarry, to turn us back to home, to remind us what we carry. Um, I'm going to read a poem that <clears throat> that I read here in the past, and I hope nobody remembers it. Um, it's a true story. Uh, a friend of mine uh, several years back who has multiple sclerosis had a job doing, she was a hospice volunteer, and one of her patients had Alzheimer's. And she was warned that the patient would be unresponsive. And it's a true story. Reading to a woman with Alzheimer's. I sit on the edge of a hospice bed, reading aloud from a children's book, a Bible story with pictures and large print. She was a teacher, they say, before her mind went away to a place in the desert, and now her thoughts have all dried up. At the bottom of the page, my hands shaking from the MS won't do what I want them to do next, and a thin white arm floats over my shoulders with long bony fingers and turns the page. Lazarus, I read, had been in the tomb for four days. Wow. <laughs> 
called Coyote Blues. I was walking through the woods Just minding my own Went down the path ahead of me Just chewing on a bone Said Mr. Coyote Just as bold as can be Lord, I was just hoping and praying He wasn't gonna chew on me I got those coyote blues. I got those coyote blues. So if you got a little chihuahua, oh, little baby cat, you better pay attention and know right where they're at. Cause the coyote comes out And he prowls at night And just one of them Might be enough to whet his appetite I got those coyote blue I got those coyote blue Give me them blue steamroller style that it brings with it. Um, the I'm going to read two short poems on rhythms. Um, the first one was inspired by Sarah Rose Aura. And she is renowned in religious um, literature as the mother of all the earth angels here on earth that have come to help us. And uh, it is said that she can be seen with the naked eye or through your mind's eye in auras of pink. One day I had um, couldn't sleep and I opened the blinds and I looked out and lo and behold there was the most gorgeous, beautiful, spectacular sunrise that I had ever seen. It's still emblazoned in my mind's eye. And so I thank Sarah Froze Aura for inspiring me for inspiring me to write this poem. 
morning rhythms, gathering morning thoughts, gazing into early etchings of the sky, painted blotches, patterns of past lives drawn, so I can compare where I am now to where I was. The joy builds as the day opens its wanton arms to greet my pounding heart. Echoed rhythms are heard within, then caught by rippling winds and thrown to the universe. Sarah Rose awakens, heeds the urgent call, appearing just as the glorious sun breaks through illuminated walls, outlining my subtle body in pink hues, eye upon my spirited horse, flaring nostrils, pricked ears, head turning toward a crooning voice. We know each other well. One signal and we're off, galloping through the sands of time, leaving clear footprints of all that has been, moving on to all that is, just my horse and I. Mm -hmm.